Hello, welcome to Sequoia Sake's YouTube channel. I'm Jake, I'm the head brewmaster at Sequoia Sake, the only sake brewery here in San Francisco, California. Today we're gonna to talk about the club members November package. We have three sakes that are shipping in this package. One is Shiro Koji, very special white koji used to make the sake. Number two is holiday sake, where we've infused some spices to give it that holiday feel. And the third is our award-winning Coastal Genshu. All club packages come with three sakes, two exclusive just for the club members and one generally available in our store. Let's first talk about Shiro Koji. Shiro Koji is white koji. All sake uses koji. However, Shiro Koji is a special koji used to impart a certain wine-like characteristics to the sake. We believe this sake goes well with the whole meal, and especially during the holiday seasons. I think you're going to really enjoy it. The next exclusive sake is a holiday sake. This one has spice infused into the sake. We use dried lemon peels, whole cinnamon, whole clove, and whole allspice. We infused it to give it just that special holiday aroma and scents. Great for pre-dinner small bites and to share with your friends. I think you're gonna really enjoy that one. Our third sake is what the main part of this video is gonna be about. This is our Genshu. We really enjoy this during the holiday seasons because we like to warm it up. I know what you're thinking. Many of you said, I think warm sake isn't as good as cold sake. Well, this sake works really well. The key here is not to make hot piping sake, but to warm it up so it gives you just the right balance of vanillas and floral aromas. It's gonna be really good. Get your notes, pay attention. This is gonna be fun. To properly warm sake, you're gonna need a few utensils. Most of them are common to the household, but let's go through them just to see what we have here. The first is the carafe. I prefer a ceramic carafe. You just need some type of vessel that can be warmed and also preferably can hold the heat after you have warmed up your sake. Second are cups. They're always important. I like a wide rimmed cup so that I can smell the aroma. Another one is the thermometer. A food grade thermometer can help tremendously. However, if you don't have one, you can still do this, but this does take the guesswork out of it. We're gonna need water, and we're gonna need a common pot to heat the water in. Lastly, you're gonna need aluminum foil to cover the top, or if you prefer, you can use saran wrap. Okay, let's get started. First thing you wanna do, is you take your sake. Twist and open. Set the cap down. Now you want to fill your carafe to the neck with sake. You don't want to overfill. Make sure you put your top back on. Next, you want to take your pot, place it onto your burner, take your carafe, take your carafe and set it in the center of the pot. Now take your water, slowly filling until you get about halfway, a little bit more than halfway up the carafe. This is key so that you can warm the sake correctly. Pour the water slowly, watch the horizon grow until it gets about halfway, a little bit more than halfway, so that you have the sake into the water and it will warm the whole vessel. That looks pretty good for me. The key to the whole aspect of warming your sake is to not actually warm the carafe while it's on the flame. You wanna take it out once you've measured the water, set it on the table, take your saran, or, uh, saran wrap or aluminum foil, place it over the top of the carafe, okay? Now, you wanna heat your water till it becomes boiling. Let's do that. Once we have a roaring boil, we're ready to go. We want to turn off the heat 
and then place the carafe into the pot. Of course, please remember to make sure the heat is off. That is key here. The heat is off. We pick up the carafe, gently place it into the center of the pot. Take your food grade thermometer, stick it through the top into the sake. Now, brush away this fog and steam and watch the temperature rise. We're going to 60 degrees centigrade or about 120 degrees. That's what most people like. However, I like it a little bit cooler, so I go for about 40 degrees or about 90 degrees Fahrenheit. Both are good. The key here is to not go over 122 degrees for this sake here. After 122, you start to burn off a lot of those flavors. And we don't want to lose those flavors. They are really exceptional when you have your glass and you smell the aroma. Once we've reached the temperature we desire, for me, 90 degrees, pull out the food grade thermometer. Be careful not to burn yourself. This can get warm, so you may want to use a mitt or something. Take it out, use a little paper towel, to dry it off from the bottom, remove the top, take your cup, pour a little bit in there. Oh, I can smell it already. Oh, such a delicious smell. Reminds me of the holidays. Come by. If you have any questions, please do write comments below and sign up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Happy holidays.